Hi, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're going to be talking about how to deal with stress and anxiety in trading. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're going to be talking about how to deal with stress when you're in the live market. Um, to be honest, I used to get quite uh, a lot of anxiety before, uh, as the buildup of the market opens would happen. Um, now I don't even worry about it. There's days when I know there's not going to be trades. There's going to be uh, days when there's some fantastic opportunities for trend trades and swing trades, uh, or tradable scalps, or pullbacks. But that all comes from your own accelerated learning and, and practice and preparation and your your game plan which if you haven't done so go to my my home page and get my high performance daily routine for for traders that covers almost all the basics and what that's designed to do is to help you prepare on all levels psychologically but basically I, I have some really simple strategies that are duplicatable day in and day out but I I'm very patient because number one I know there's going to be thousands of trades number two I know I'm going to have some losing trades so I'm not attached to, to the outcome of any one particular trade Money management is paramount, so I never, I never uh, take extremely abnormal risk on any trade, but I focus on highly, highly probable setups. Um, I'm looking for simple swing trade or with trend uh, setups. Um, I don't take trading personally. I don't take the outcomes of the trades personally. Uh, so I, I've trained myself to deal with the stress in the sense that I'm detaching myself uh, I, I finally crossed a point where I realized that no one particular trade is going to determine the outcome of my trading long term. So, so I'm focused on the process of trading, the flawless execution of my trading strategy. I'm going to make mistakes, I'm going to win some, I'm going to lose some, but I know that overall my performance at the end of the week is that I'm always up pips. And that's the key. And my money management is a big part of that. You've got to understand your strategies, you've got to understand that no one particular trade has a greater value. They're all random outcomes that you cannot control. So you could you could have no knowledge of any trading system whatsoever, but if you had a proper money management strategy, you still have a chance. But obviously you want to have an edge that you focus on. So you've got to finesse yourself and you've got to train yourself psychologically, physically, you've got to be prepared like an elite performer. That you're you know it's like going into the ring with a UFC fighter. You can be extremely well trained, but you can't control what the other fighter's gonna do. So what you need to do is focus on what you can control and that's when you decide when your strategy has you taking a trade, <clears throat> when you're going to buy or sell and how you're going to manage that trade psychologically and technically in the market, your stop loss, your take profit, uh, you might move your stop, uh, however that, that is, but it's, it's all about flawless execution and when you understand that the trading process is paramount, then the stress starts to drop because you know that, that it's, it's a numbers game. It's hitting the trades and following the process and executing flawlessly and that's where over time you know detach yourself from the stress. So you've got to follow the markets, you've got to study the markets, you've got to be able to uh, understand that there are going to be uh, black swans, there's going to be events that happen that, that knock you out of the market but that's why no one particular trade, you have to accept that there's that when you enter a trade what I do is I pencil in the loss when I take the trade I already take that I debit it from my account I learned that from Brent Penfold and the whole purpose of that is that if I can't handle that loss if that if that position sizing is too large that stress is too much then I'm I've, I've not properly taken the the right risk management on that position and I'm gonna get out of that trade or not even take the trade so I'm willing to accept that loss before I even get into the market so I know psychologically that I've, I can deal with that. It's not going to have an, an impact on my account, it's just another trade. So this is a, a good starting point. Uh, hopefully this helps. You know that I hammer home the, the, uh, the point of constant progress and, and improving every single day. And if you're doing that and you're look, looking to where you could improve, what, what, what did you do well, what could you have done better? every single day you're going to be improving and as I said go to my homepage get my seven step daily routine for high performance trader this is all designed on building confidence discipline and a winning mindset so hopefully you got some value from today's video you know I'm addicted to trading I love helping traders stay disciplined stay focused I never said it would be easy 
Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.